Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be uh, a review on the Birkenstock EBA. I think that's how you say it. If if not, then whatever. But that's how I say it. Um, these are great shoes. All right, I'm just going to get to the point. I don't want to waste anybody's time. These are great shoes. Uh, I highly recommend them. Um, I was a big hater. I swore that I would never wear Birkenstocks. And I was just like, I'm just not wearing that. And it's summer here in New York City. I don't want to always be wearing shoes, um, especially if I'm just going out to walk to the bodega or something like five minutes, 10 minutes away. I don't really want to put on shoes. It's hot. I was like, all right, let me let me go to the Birkenstock store and let me just look. I'm just going to look. And, you know, I always thought that these were the best looking ones, the all blacks. I didn't really know any of the names or anything like that. Um, I walked in, I tried them, and they were super lightweight. I tried all of them. Uh, first, I tried the Arizonas, a couple of the Arizona models, and I tried this one. I instantly felt the difference. These are so lightweight, and that's a big plus for me. Um, not that the Arizonas are like very, very heavy, but they're noticeably heavier than the EVAs. Um, I didn't really know that it'd be that much of a difference. Um, second of all, I think that these are the best looking pair. I'm not going to lie. The all black, I think it just looks great. The EVAs, in my opinion, are the best looking Birkenstock, uh, the, of the sandals at least, that's all I'm talking about in this video. So, it's lightweight, it looks the best in my opinion, and probably the most important factor is it's the cheapest, I mean these are $50 compared to the Arizonas which typically run for $130 and go up to $250. And I tried the Arizonas, they were really stiff, they were really stiff, and I know you do have to break them in, so the brand new pair that I was trying at the store obviously are not broken in so I'm sure they would become more comfortable as you break them in um, and I tried the soft bed I think it's called the soft bed same thing of the Arizona but a softer the footbed softer and those are like 140 I'd probably recommend those over the regular Arizonas at least from trying them on the store I felt and it, the difference was pretty noticeable um, but that's also almost three times the price I mean 140 the regular Arizona is 130 versus this for $50 you could buy three pairs of these um, so I don't know about you guys, but I, I don't know, 50 versus 140. I just went with the 50 and I don't really regret my decision, at least not so far. I'm sure in the future I will try the Arizonas and buy those, but I'm just really happy with these EVAs. Um, I really, I really recommend them. And then the fourth thing is they're waterproof, which is great because I don't know if you live in California, you like to go on the beach a lot or you're a swimmer or whatever. It's just convenient to not have to worry about water messing them up because the Arizonas, they will get messed up from water. And those aren't recommended to take to the beach or, I mean, you could take them to the beach, but getting them wet and all of that, not really a good idea. So these are waterproof and, uh, you know, that's uh, always a plus uh, when you don't have to worry about water messing them up, especially here in New York City. Um, it rains a lot more than I realized. And I've noticed that just going out and wearing regular shoes, I'm getting soaked anyway. Um, I haven't actually worn breaking socks in the rain, but it wouldn't be such a bad idea maybe. Um, anyway, so I really recommend these shoes. I think they're great. I don't have any complaints about them. A lot. Another thing I wanted to mention is that they definitely get more comfortable over time because when I first tried them on in the store, they were a little bit, I don't want to say stiff, but they felt like hard plastic. When you first buy them, they feel like hard plastic. I'm not sure what I expected because it is plastic. But again, I had never tried Birkenstocks before, so I didn't know what I was getting into. Um, they feel like hard plastic, but over time, when you break them in, they start to feel more like soft plastic or more like a Crocs sort of feel. When you first get them, they don't really feel like that Crocs sort of feel. But once you break them in, there is a big difference and they become a lot more comfortable. Not that they were extremely comfortable ever, but... They just get a lot more comfortable when you break them in. So, um, they're, what did I say? First, that they look good. Second, they're cheap. Third, they're waterproof. Fourth, I don't really remember what order I said. Anyway, I recommend these shoes. I really do. I like them. I think they're cool. You can adjust the straps, make them more comfortable. Drop a comment. Let me know if you have these shoes and you like them. Or if you think they're terrible. Or which breaking stock whether it's the Arizona or not is your favorite let me know I'm genuinely interested because I probably will buy more of these shoes in the future um, I get the hype I really do everyone has them in New York City and even other places as well and I really I really get it now I understand 
it makes sense. I was a hater. I'm a converted fan. So shout out to Birkenstock. And um, that's it. So if you like this video, please consider subscribing. Um, give this video a thumbs up. Thanks for watching this video and hopefully I will see you in the next video.